Hello, on this session, we're going to learn how to create basic screen transitions using Flinto. For this exercise, we're going to be using a sketch file. So you need to install the sketch plugin, plugin for Mac. And you can do so by going to flinto.com and going to download and then selecting the sketch plugin. So I'm going to go to my sketch file and here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, add some uh, transitions from a home screen that goes to the menu and then it opens also a detailed page from a cart. So here from a sketch file, I go to plugins and then I say send to Flinto. It automatically detects the device size, the scale, and it opens Flinto for me and it creates a new file with my artboards and layers from my sketch file, which is pretty cool. So here I'm going to start adding transitions. So you can add transitions in two ways. One is by selecting one layer and then just creating a link. So for example, here I select the menu, the hamburger menu, and I'm just going to go over here to create link. And then I select the screen that I want this menu to link to. So I'm going to select menu and the gesture is going to be tap and the transition, you can select one of these default transitions. Just for this exercise, let's select fade in. And then we have the opportunity also to select this group and also create a link to this other screen. But let me teach you another way that you can create links. You can create by drawing the link. So for example, here on the menu, there's a draw link option. I'm going to draw this and I can start, I can connect it to a different screen. So I'm going to connect it to this one. I keep the gesture as tap and I'm going to select the transition to push left. Now that I added all the links, I'm able to preview my prototype. So over here on the menu that says preview, I tap on it and I can start testing. So I tap here and the menu appears. I'm going to go back here and then I tap here and then this screen appears, pushes from the right. Now let's add a link that takes you back to the previous screen. That's something that is really easy to do in Flinto. So for example, here on this screen, I want this X to close the model or the screen. So I can select it and I can create a link that takes me back to the home screen. That's one way to do it, but there's also another way to do it. Over here, you're going to see a little arrow icon and this will create the target to the back link. And I'm just going to say, yes, the gesture tap, let's test it. So here I open this screen and then I press tap and automatically even creates a transition in reverse of the transition that opened that screen. So that's pretty cool and something that it becomes pretty useful sometimes. And again, you can do it here on this icon, but you can also select it here from the menu. This is tap, you select the gesture, and then you select the target. And here, by default, I select back link. The same you can do, you change the targets here from any other uh, gesture by selecting it, and then you select the target, you select the type of transition, and you can even add more gestures. That's it. Those are the basics on how to create uh, basic screen transitions using Flinto. I hope this is helpful to you and stay tuned because on the next one, uh, we're going to learn to create more advanced transitions.